Hey guys, my name is Kate, this is Porter, and today we're going to be reviewing the novel You by Caroline Kepnes. <laughs> okay, so I know I'm super late to the game just now reading You, but I watched the Netflix show like whenever it first aired and I thought it was awesome. And I for some reason just never got around to reading the book. And then just a few weeks ago, one of my best friends recommended it to me. She said it was way better than the show and way more effed up than the show. So that immediately piqued my interest. So I ran to my local Barnes and Noble and I grabbed a paperback copy of You. Now, if you guys have already seen the show, it was very similar, but as always, the book was better. And like my friend told me, it was way more insane than the show was. But before we dive too deep into what I actually thought about the book, let's go ahead and give you a little bit of a summary, just in case for some reason you haven't heard of the, the show or the book, or you've just been living under a rock or whatever. So you is told from the viewpoint of Joe Goldberg, a 20 something guy living in New York that manages a bookstore. He quickly becomes obsessed with this girl named Guinevere Beck after she comes into the bookstore and through social media and all of the other technological tools that we have available to us today, he starts stalking her. And I mean, not just creeping on her old Instagram pics, like hardcore stalking her. He goes through and finds out where she lives, who her friends are, and knows every move that she makes almost before she even makes it. He eventually meets up with Beck and they start a relationship. So you details their first meeting all the way through their relationship and you get to see the ins and outs of what it's like um, having this relationship from the viewpoint of the stalker, which I think is what makes you really, really original is for the first time, I was actually identifying with the stalker and hoping that he didn't get in trouble or didn't get caught. I was really, really rooting for him and it was because I was seeing it through his perspective. As far as the plot goes of you, the storyline was amazing in itself, but what really set this book over the edge for me was the way that it is narrated. Like I said before, because it's coming from the viewpoint of our stalker, Joe, it's told in such a way that it almost makes you feel like you are insane. Like you hear every single thought that he has going through his head and the way that he phrases things makes you feel like you are actually a nutcase stalking a 20 something year old girl. No book has ever done that to me before. And I was flipping pages as hard as I could trying to figure out what was gonna happen next. On Goodreads, I actually gave you five out of five stars just because there was nothing I would change about this book. The plot line, the pacing, the storytelling, everything was there for me. And it took a not so original plot, Boy Stalks Girl, and made it feel so incredibly unique and totally different than any other story I've ever read. I would definitely recommend this book to almost anyone, just not those that are faint of heart. I just finished you a few days ago, so I'm gonna give myself a little bit of time before I grab the sequel, Hidden Bodies, just because I wanna give myself a little bit of a break in between the two, but I cannot wait to see what effed up stuff Katniss has in store for us in the sequel. If you've read you, leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of the book. Or if you haven't read it, check out the description box below and I'll post the link where you can order a copy. Thanks so much for hanging out with Porter and I for a little bit today and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.